Oh, here we go. There's that. Crack it, crack it. There we go. Oh, yeah. See, this is nobody, you see, and nobody's arm, break, arm breaks it up, yeah. <laughs> which makes it even better. I just love that plot and the big reaction. Uh -huh. the boy, I think we've seen that kind of idea before right there. Well, that's more set up in the Luger match. All right. All right, call it timeout again. <laughs> Guys, that was uh, – yeah. Phenomenal. <laughs> and I guess this, you see this, it, it's not an eight minute match either. No. <laughs> you know, we're giving the people, the people are having fun. They're watching this match and we're, uh, we must have did an angle. Robert's got a back brace on. That is, I just now noticed that. Yeah, I, I see. I love that the way I could take that bump with that, that hat. What do you call that? Have a in the Guri. Yeah. In the Guri, that's right. But you know that. Back then, like the Hurricane Corona. Ah, time on again. <laughs> <laughs> but things have changed, Rick. Cause I, I was saying, well, you know, the Hurricane Corona, remember, that was the front head scissors <laughs> at our time. You, you tell yeah. me, hit me with the front head scissors. Yeah. And uh, Well, you, what, didn't you call it a victory roll or something like that? No, the victory roll is the, is the one, if you remember, where I – uh, we beat Ivan and him for the world titles the first time. Okay, it's when I was when I jumped on his shoulders from behind and oh, rolled him that, over. That, oh, that's a victory roll. Okay. Yeah, there were there front head scissors. Okay, that's the way I used to. Why well, do? Because you'd call it. <laughs> you'd, yeah, I know. And, I, I'd taken it both ways. Where some guys yeah. would would do their legs and arch their back and take it like Steamboat gave it to me a different way. Well, that's the way Robert and I did our tag team. Most of the time, Robert would do that first. And then he had head scissors towards me. He'll come up, tag him off, gut shot, and I do the Hurricane Karata. Whoa. That's good stuff, man. <laughs> so fun to go back and see, you know, just how wrestling has evolved. I mean, it was so fun watching 87. Here we are three years later, and you can tell it's lit a little different. The ring's a little different. Hebner's no longer here. Now Nick Patrick is. How was Nick Patrick as a referee, Rick? Oh, real good. Real Nick good. worked too. See, Nick worked before he refereed. Yeah. He understood the business. Mm -hmm. You know, he was a, a really nice guy too. Yeah, he's humble. You know, Jody, how his dad Jody passed away, what, a couple of years ago? Yes. Oh, no, did he? You know, I, I I hadn't heard that. I was just gonna ask you about Jody. Yeah, he passed away maybe a year or, or two years ago. I, I I just came to the Carolinas when the Assassins had finished their run. Uh, it was Jody and um, I can't uh, think of the guy's name. I, I know his name. Give me a second. I'm on a 45 but, but second they, delay. They, them against the Kentucky. Renesto. Uh, Renesto. Yeah, uh, Renesto. Renesto. Yeah. But yes. He, they, they, they and uh, the Kentuckians drew huge money in the Carolinas. Now, was that Grizzly Smith? Yes. Oh, there's our finish. Kick out on one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in there. <laughs> you damn right. I'm just messing with you, buddy. <laughs> he pulled a Harley race on me. No. <laughs> Gosh. Rick, you, you, you have that charisma that you're naturally a world champion. And, uh, and it's what I try to tell my, you know, my son. Oh, look at that. That's oh wow, nice, awesome. nice. And that That's was a great little piece of business there. Arn just pulled Rick out of the way as a charging Ricky Morton now doesn't hit Rick and instead just flies right into the ring post and he collapses to the outside of the ring. Yeah, this is great. I stuff. My head on the metal there. Though that's which, which makes sense. Man, these guys are getting a hell of a match here tonight. Yes, they are, Rick. With you and Arn and Ray, have anybody's going to get a hell of a match. <laughs> Guys, this is great. Uh, man. <laughs> so fun to go back and watch this. You can tell how much fun you guys are having. And 
And what a Hall of Fame crew here. Arn Anderson, Ric Flair, and the Rock and Roll Express. I know it's WCW, but boy, it sure does feel like Jim Crockett promotions. And <laughs> fans in Texas are absolutely loving it. And, and when you see something like this, Conrad, we're all having fun because we're having one hell of a match here. Uh, it, you can feel it. Your drilling's going. And you, and you, and you want to give it that extra little boost. You always do. I'm, I'm watching the little things that, that Arn and, and Ricky are doing. And say, no, this is called in a ring. This is not called in the back. Right. Uh, oh, yes. And it's, thank you guys. I forgot. Really, sometimes you forget how great that era was until you go back and watch it. Yeah, I don't know that Rick was having the most fun in the world here in the Jim Hurd era, but it, it, it they did produce some good content. If you were a fan at home, there's a lot of great wrestling that happened here, you know, with the Steiner brothers, with the Rock and Roll Express, with the Horsemen. I look at you up top, flying crossbody for Arn. Cool. Man, look at, uh, look at Rick's hair go, baby. I know. Yeah, what it's you see, they're keeping. I'm selling, but they're keeping me alive. That's what heels don't know how to do anymore. How to keep the baby face alive? Well, hell, you can't find a baby face to sell anymore. But, but this is uh, why the people are standing on their feet. Rick, I used to love to work with R and Two. Uh, him and Tully, you know, oh, we, yeah. God, they're, they were great. Yeah. You know, we, I know we did a lot of history with the Midnight Express and we, uh, you know, the Expresses versus Expresses, but yeah. like I was saying, when you go into a route with another tag team, Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a million dollar move right there. <clears throat> you can't yes. cheat that. And now everybody's ready for these tags. Can Ricky get to his corner before Arn can get to his, uh, Man, look at look at the side of your face, Rick. Yeah. You really did get busted open pretty good yeah. there. Are you talking to me? No, I'm just no, saying man. it looks I, like Rick on the on the left I, side I, of the face. He's I, pretty he's bleeding pretty I good. I hit myself on that turnbuckle when you when you took the corner. Oh really? Okay. I'm just, yeah, it was a, a fantastic bump that went unnoticed by you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes. Whoa! Wabo! Getting even. Don't hulk up on me yet. No, no, you're you're telling me start to stand up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not doing nothing you don't tell me to do. <laughs> you hear me? You that's when you're telling me stand up. There's those little teeny boppers. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, I think we're getting wide shots because of the blood. Now look at this right here, man. This is so good. Oh, there oh it is. God! That's got to be boot. shotgun, and that ought to do it. Oh, and you yeah. it off, Rick. Look at you, you damn cheater! Yeah. Damn it! Damn. <laughs> what a great match! What a great time! Hell yeah! You know, some of the guys that's out here watching on your podcast, if you are workers in our business, you need to go back and get you a pencil and pad. 